I have covered Autogen a lot on the channel. The reason being that this is one of the most easiest and popular multi-agent framework out there. When it comes to agentic software, it is imperatively important that framework should be easy to install and use because things can get quite complicated pretty soon as you try to implement the real world scenarios. That is why Autogen, Crew AI and couple of others I always suggest and recommend for production grade applications. In this video, we are going to look at relatively new feature of Autogen, which is conversable agents, which allows you to have multi-agent conversation or multi-agent task handling. If you don't know what Autogen is, Autogen provides a multi-agent conversation framework as a high level abstraction. It is an open source library for enabling next generation LLM applications with multi-agent collaborations, teachability and personalization. With this framework, users can build LLM workflows. The agent modularity and conversation based programming simplifies development and enables reuse for developers. End users benefit from multiple agents independently, learning and collaborating on their behalf, enabling them to accomplish more with less work. Benefits of the multi agent approach with Autogen includes agent that can be backed by various LLM configurations. You can have native support for a generic form of tool usage through code generation and execution and a special agent which is primarily a human proxy agent that enables easy integration of human feedback and involvement at different levels and we will see that in the demo too. So in summary you can define a set of agents with specialized capabilities and you can define the interaction between these agents as what can they do. So let's get started. I will take you to my local system but before that let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who have sponsored the VM and the GPU which I am going to use for it. For this demo you won't need a GPU because I will be using the OpenAI's LLM GPT-4 3.4 Turbo but if you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I am going to put a discount coupon which will give you 50% discount on an already discounted GPU. Let me take you to my local system which is Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GPU of VRAM and VDRTX RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Also I will install everything in my separate Conda environment which I already have created. If you don't know how to create it what is Conda please search the channel you should be able to find it. So I have created a Conda environment multi-agent and then all you need to do to get started is to install Autogen with couple of stuff which I am going to install for you now. So pip install pyautogen and 0.2.25 version. Let's get it installed. Should be already there. And let me clear the screen. So that is all you need to do in terms of installation. Also, you would need the OpenAI's API key. So go to platform.openai.com, grab your key, and then set it in the environment. So let me set the key here and clear the screen. Let me launch my Python interpreter. I have set my OpenAI API key by the way. And these are all the things which I am importing from Autogen. So conversable agent is the agent which performs a task with conversation. And I have grabbed my OpenAI API key from the environment and there are few other stuff which we would need and I will explain as we go in the demo. Let me adjust the screen here. Okay, it looks much better. Now, Let's specify the model to save cost instead of GPT-4, I am using GPT-3.5 Turbo. But if it is a production application you are doing, I would highly suggest go with GPT-4 latest model. Okay, so in this example, what I am going to do, I am going to define two agents. And what exactly is agent? Agent is simply an autonomous piece of software which accomplishes some task. And when we say AI agent, it uses LLM to accomplish that task. So I am going to define two agents and I am trying to mimic a talk show where one agent is a politician and the other, other agent is a talk show host. So first let's define the politician and 
I am just defining this politician with the name Shaza. If you are an Australian, you would appreciate this word Shaza. I'm not going to break the suspense. You can Google it. So I'm calling first um, politician as Shaza. I have just given it a name Shaza. And then I'm just telling it that whenever you want to terminate the conversation, just type I got to go. And then system messages, your name is Shaza and you're a politician. Of course, you can define whatever role you want. And then I'm telling it that when I, whenever you're ready to end the conversation, just say I got to go. LLM config is this that I'm using this model. And then I'm just saying that there's no human input involved. Just talk with LLM. And then this is the termination lambda. I just repeated it. So you don't have to repeat this. Okay, second agent which I'm going to define is called as Beza. And Beza is a talk show host. So I'm telling it that you know your name is Beza and you're a talk show host. And the rest of the things are similar. And let's initiate the chat now. Now I haven't told this model GPT 3.5 Turbo that I'm these politicians are Australian. I haven't given it any ethnicity. Let's initiate the chat with in this chat. All I'm saying it that Beza is initiating the chat and Beza is a talk show host. And then uh, Shaza is the receiving one. And the message from Beza is that I am Beza Shaza. Let's keep the conversation about your campaign of becoming prime minister continue. And then I'm just giving it, giving it max tens of chat that back and forth conversation just to and i'm asking to summarize the conversation too so let me run it there you go how oh, quick let me go up so quick so baza started that i am baza shaza let's keep the conversation about your campaign and then shaza says absolutely baza i'm committed to serving the people and making a positive impact as prime minister and then shaza is saying something here and then baza is and shaza is asking what are some key issues you think should be addressed and then Beza is saying key issues to address in your campaign, healthcare, education reform, environmental, and all that stuff. And then Shaza is saying, okay, I couldn't agree more. And then she is, and Shaza is, by the way, female, and Beza is male. And Shaza is talking about all that stuff. And then uh, let's, so if you want to continue it, you can just similarly use this function that Shaza is sending message what's the last issue we talked about and recipient is Beza. now you can have as many agents as you like and then you can just start the conversation between all of them even programmatically so this is what Shaza said and then you can create the Beza's response but Beza says i gotta go which terminates it okay so i didn't actually uh, Okay, so this is a message I defined earlier, so that is why this error, you can ignore it. Now, another thing which you can do, you can simply type it here, like, what is the summary? There you go. So, this is a summary where LLM has generated the summary of whatever is talked about. Now, look at this. It says that it just mentioned that Australian. So, this campaign is about Australia. I have weren't mentioned Australia at all, even with Shaz or Beza. But the thing is that these are the slangs in Australia. So GPT is so intelligent that it just got, um, it just assumed that we are talking about Australia. How good is that? Okay, so this is how you can do the multi-agent conversation quite easily by using this. Let's check out another example. Let me clear the screen. I'm just actually going to exit from here maybe i'll just keep it here and i will clear the screen so i'm just using this python lambda to clear the screen now in the next example what i'm going to do i'm going to define three agents two will be agents uh, talking to each other and then we will also include a human proxy agent which will take input from human and this example um, i am just mimicking a scenario where we have a new employee in the organization and that employee wants to know something about a company's policy about something specific so what human will do or new employee will do he will or she will ask a question and then there will be two companies agents who will talk among each other to get the relevant answer for that employee so let's get it implemented first i'm defining this agent which is called as employee onboarding agent this is its name 
and then I'm telling the system message or the uh, this is describing this agent itself that you are a helpful employee on porting agent you are here to help new employees get started with companies and its policy your job is to gather employees name and department do not ask for any other information and then uh, I'm just telling it that okay this is LM config which we already have set to GPT 3.5 turbo and I'm saying that don't execute any code and don't ask anything from the human this is a first agent next agent which i am going to define is called as employee engagement agent now what this agent is doing this is simply um, saying that you are a helpful employee service agent and you can you just provide useful information for the employee based on user department so whatever department user enters it will provide the fact about the company is and the policy user is going to ask and then rest of the information is the same cool okay and then what i'm going to do i'm going to define a third agent which is going to take an input from the human we call it employee proxy agent this is its name again i'm not giving it any llm information because this is not going to be talking to llm rather this is going to be talking to human and that is why we are saying human input mode always and then i'm just telling it okay just terminate it if it types terminate so we have defined three agents now let's define a chat thread so if i just let me clear the screen maybe in this chat thread what is happening is we are starting the whole chat so first we are saying okay Sender will be employee onboarding agent and it will talk to employee proxy agent or basically employee and it is telling the employee hello I am here to help you get started with our company which makes yummy biscuits in Australia could you tell me your name and which department you joined and then I'm just giving it okay whatever employees enter human enters just return that in the JSON format and this will be the only thing name and department and then uh, this is the employee proxy agent which is going to uh, ask something you can so this is primarily proxying or pretending to be human so this human is asking what is the policy around bringing my own laptop to work in real world application of course you will get it as an input from human and then put a variable here and then variable will be replaced by a value in the real world but we are just doing the demo here so I have hard coded it so let's initiate the chat by using the initiate underscore chat one so you see as soon as i initiated the chat the employee onboarding agent is uh, introducing himself and saying uh, please tell me your name and which department you join so you can say that i am julia and i have joined heavy marketing and then press enter you see it says great thank you julia welcome to the marketing department is there any, anything else you would like to share with it and then uh, you can just say no you can also ask nopes as soon as you said no it has went on to our actual question what is the policy around bringing my own laptop to work and then it is saying hello julia from marketing bringing your own laptop to work can be a great way to enhance your work experience however before you do so please make sure to check with your IT department additionally and all that stuff okay so you can just talk with it as much as you like you can go naughty with it you can just say um, you know whatever you want to like know about uh, policies but all in all you see that how easy it is to create these agentic framework with different agents multi-agent framework even with human in the loop so I'm a big fan of Autogen. I think it's quite um, mature and it is backed by Microsoft Search. So things look good with it. That's it. Let me know what do you think about it. I will drop all this, this code in my blog and I will put the link in video description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.